Recently, I was out birding and put my lens on this killdeer and just watched. It would seem like it's not doing much, but clearly there's a lot going on, as evidenced by this. What impressed me the most is that it knew the exact location of the worm and in one attempt pulled it out of the soil. Research has been done about how American robins find worms, and a couple of conflicting theories have emerged. One study found that robins use visual clues exclusively, while another study that took place 30 years later found that the robins use a combination of senses, with visual and auditory cues being the most prominent. I didn't find any specifics about how killdeer, starlings, or other thrushes find worms. Instead, I relied on my own observations, questions, and analysis. Observing birds wherever we are is a tool we can always use to become citizen scientists. I noticed that, unlike the American robin, the killdeer doesn't cock its head to the side. It stops periodically as if assessing the information from its senses and then pounces. With no gaze or ear turning towards the ground like the robin, I have to think they rely mostly upon hearing and perhaps vibrotactile cues secondarily. Birds have special sensory cells called Herbst corpuscles that help them to sense movement and vibration. These cells are most densely concentrated in their beak and mouth, but are also present throughout the rest of their skin, including their legs and feet. We have a similar receptor called the Pacinian corpuscle that allows us to sense vibration and pressure. Maybe this periodic poking into the dirt is the killdeer's way of gathering information on worm whereabouts through the Herbst corpuscles. Or maybe it's an attempt to draw the worms towards the surface, like the practice of worm charming. Or it could just simply be picking up insects that it comes across. Huh? Worm charming, also known as worm grunting, is a way of drawing worms out of the ground. This is done by driving a wooden stake into the ground and then rubbing a flat piece of metal across it. The vibrations from this cause the worms to come out to the surface. So how does a bird catch a worm? It seems to be a combination of visual, auditory, and tactile cues. Or maybe there's more going on. Have you observed any birds pulling worms out of the soil? If so, what species did you see? And what patterns did you notice? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.